welcome back to Jack and Dexter. In this part, we're going to be heading to the pumping station. In the last part, we uh, got the town banner and uh, met Torn. So, yeah. Let's get going. And I'm going to try my best not to alert the Crimson Guard, hopefully, but I guarantee it'll happen. And, uh, just need to hurry up. Because I actually want to get this LP halfway finished before I even post it online. <laughs> So yeah, I am recording this uh, LP early in advance. That's the uh, whole reason it's going to start on ma around May 10th uh, or so. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's see. Pumping station is this way. Crap, that was close. Uh, pumping station is probably one of my least favorite levels, especially this way we have to go. This is called the... Um, this is the part of the city that's called the slums. Um, and I really hate this place because it's so tight with all these houses and it's going to be very annoying for a mission later. People who have played the game already know what mission I'm talking about. Um, it's probably the most hardest mission in the game. And I can expect me having to cut that out or scream in and rage for, in that, for about 10 minutes. Alright, so it's heading here. Heading here. Alright, so now we're also going to be introduced into the Metalheads. Metalheads are a mixture of reptilian and insect-like creatures, is from what I've read on Wikipedia and the Jack and Baxter Wikia. Um, these guys are... I forget what these are called. I know I can look them up in the scratch gap, but I'm too lazy. Um, now, for a few precursor orbs, I can show you guys where they are. Um, there's one right there. And... Uh, there's one over here. In fact, I can get that now. There we go. There's one there. I know where a couple of them are, and I can show you guys where they're at, but you know, I just I, I remember it from location. Because this game I've played and beaten only twice. I'm, I'm really not kidding. I've only beaten this game about three or two times. Uh, I don't know. I just never really st stopped. I just stopped playing through the middle of it, but I've beaten Jack, t Jack 3 probably about... I'd say five or six times. Maybe even more than that. So. Let's head this way. And also, if you can't tell, you can also see a metal head in the dark very good because of the lighting on their head. You want to collect those skull gems, trust me, they're very, very helpful for you in this game. This game, uh, they're only used for mini games and stuff like that, but in this game, very, I say they're kind of required if you want to be able to get through this game. Because if you can get through this game without getting any of the um, of the skull gems in Dark Jack, I congratulate you because I have never seen anyone do that. In fact, if you can prove it to me, uh, well, I guess you don't get no special treatment. I'll just congratulate you. Oh, that was bullcrap. Can I get it? Come on. Uh, no, I cannot. If you f oh, thanks. That's nice. I forgot it does that. If it goes to download, it'll hop back up for you to get. Use the long jump. See, combat for now works, but later we just don't have that much combat skills because there's no need for it. And that I really hate. Plus, there's like too many tough enemies for you to be around, and now we can use Dark Jack. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna try and not really use Dark Jack as much as possible. I'll use him when I can, but like it's very rare that I actually have to use him in a situation. There is like one part in the upcoming mission. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to it on this recording or not, but we have it's it's very helpful if you do it. And also, most enemies do take about two hits off the health bar. That is a problem, but if you can get through this, but if you can learn how to. Uh, maneuver a lot like I can, it really doesn't become a problem for me. And then while in the next Jack and Dexter game, you have the ability to regain health, uh, which is probably one of my favorite uh, things about that game. Alright, so funny cutscene time. Ah, the valve. Hello me. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Hell? Don't even, Don't even chuckle. chuckle. Next, time, Next time, you, you turn the valve. Turn the valve. <laughs> oh, I love that cutscene. Alright, well, we won't be coming back here for, I'd say, a couple missions. We'll come back here. I think uh, we only have to come back here two more times. One more time is uh, one with Sig, one of my favorite characters in this game. Uh, pretty much in the rest of the Jack and Daxter series, I really love Sig's character. And a third time when we have to rescue somebody who I really just don't like. I'm sorry for anyone who's like a big fan of hers, but for those of you who know who I'm talking about, good. Now, you want to head over here because the guy, you remember those skull gems? We're going to be giving them to an oracle. The oracle is back in this game, but he doesn't play like a major role. Like he did in the first game, and I blew that thing up. Um... destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies. Those creatures you call the Metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems and I will teach you how to control these powers. Okay, so it's gonna teach us how to summon Dark Jack and the thing is, unlike the next game, you cannot change back. Like, you just gotta sit in this thing because if you walk outside, the Crimson Guard's gonna come on you and you're most likely gonna die. And if you do walk out without summoning Dark Jack, this message appears and it won't disappear until you activate Dark Jack, and it's very, very annoying. So I just like to sit in here and wait for it to go away. So here. In the next game though, they fix it to like perfect. Like instead of you um having to wait for Dark Jack to go away, you actually have the uh, the option to revert back. Plus you don't you don't use that much dark eco, so you have a lot more to your disposal. Now, I could steal a Crimson Guard thing, but I am not getting those things on my tail. Um, i just do a little swim over here. So, enemy controls as they were are the same as they were in the last game, although there's really not that much uh, swimming in this game. I may use it from time to time, but not really too much. Right, let's head back to Torn. And I think the next mission is actually one of my favorites, despite a lot of people saying that it's one of the hardest missions in Act 1. It's actually not. You just gotta know how to do it. And I know I've had a lot of people ask me at my school because this game, believe it or not, I've helped out more than, well, before I even started Let's Play, I've helped out more than 10 people with this game because they could not get past certain stuff that I thought was the easiest stuff. Uh, you can also go down there. That's one of those mini games I was telling you about. Torn will tell you to find something in the city. It go from uh, ring challenges to... Um, uh, find that city location or reach this certain spot in a certain time limit. Um, they bring that back in Jack 3 and those are the most fun. I don't really do them in this game. I just never really bother to because the secrets in this game really aren't that good while in the next game they're just so they're so much better. Alright, let's head over here. Do, do, do. And let's head over here. And Jack again gets away from a going vehicle. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the Underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy! So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Alright guys, till next time we go blow up an ammo depot. See you guys then, bye-bye.